Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, and welcome to Item Explained, kung saan sasagutan natin ang mga items that you requested for. In this video, we will be answering an item from the UPCAT mock test under the language proficiency subtest. Calamities and indigents were more afflicting than at present. It were more difficult to guard against them and to find solace. This type of item is an identifying error type. And in this type of questions or items, the first thing that you need to ask yourself is whether the sentence follows the subject-verb agreement. In subject-verb agreement, we have a basic rule. Singular subjects must have singular verbs. Plural subjects take plural verbs. Let's have a few examples. Here, the dog is or are. What verb should we use? What is the subject? The dog. Is the dog a singular or plural subject? It's singular. Therefore, it should take the singular verb. So in this phrase, we should use the dog is. How about the next one? She eats or eat. Since she is singular, we should use the singular form of the verb, which is eats. Then they. Is they singular or plural? It's plural, so we should use the plural verb. Let's go back to the given item. Let's check whether it follows the basic rule of subject-verb agreement. First, we have calamities and indigents were more afflicting than at present. Some by yung subject. We have calamities and indigents. Is it singular or plural? It's a plural subject. Therefore, it should take the plural form of the verb. Hanapin natin yung verb. The verb used is were. Is it singular or plural? It's plural. Kaya this part follows the subject verb agreement and therefore it does not contain an error. Let's move on to letter B. It were more difficult to guard against them. Samba yung subject. We have it. Is it singular or plural? It is a singular subject. So it must follow a singular verb. Let's find the verb. The verb used is were. Is were a singular or a plural subject? It's a plural subject, so it does not follow the basic rule. Kasi dapat, ang kaparis ng it, which is a singular subject, must be was, which is also a singular verb. So the correct answer here, and the part that contains an error, is letter B. That answer item explained video for today. If you have any questions, you may comment it down or send us a message on Facebook so that, so that we can answer your question in our next video. That's all for today guys. Bye!